scientists say that an edible plant grown in the Sidama zone could help greatly in efforts to end hunger and starvation. This is due to its drought resistant properties. The NSET plant grows up to 10 meters high and is now a staple food in many parts of Ethiopia. CGTN's Daniel Aratmoy has more. Martha Daniel is harvesting the NSET plants at her farm in the Sidama zone, southern part of Ethiopia. She cuts off the tall plant into sizable pieces and later shreds them to form a pulp. I will take the pulp and bury it in a pit. I will then mix it and knead it with my hands. Then it will be put together and sealed with leaves. Then after a while, I will turn it into a pulp. It is then taken from there and made it ready for food in different forms. It can be baked like a flat bread or molded into a potato-shaped roll of food. You can also take it along in a food container when you're going on a journey. The NSAID plant is a close relative of the banana. Its orange fruits are, however, full of bullet-like seeds, which are indelible. It's a staple food for about 20 million people in the Ethiopian islands. Products from the plant can be used to make bread and porridge, construction and packaging materials, cattle feed and even medicine. To make a brusame, I first rub the kofame, the final product, on the wooden table called the badiru, and then add some salt and rub it well. And then I'll add a good amount of butter to it. Depending on the amount of butter and the side dishes, you can present it as a brusame or as a house special. Then it will be taken to the main kitchen, where side dishes like spinach and meat will be added to it and served to the customers. According to scientists, NSAID could be a lifesaver to many, as the plant is said to be very drought tolerant. And in Awasa, a town in the Sidama region, culture dishes made out of the plant feature on the menu on several restaurants. This food is good for your stomach. You can eat as much as you want and it doesn't upset your stomach. It's been 28 years since I started serving it in this town of Hawassa. I've been serving this food for all the 28 years. I even send it abroad. People write to me from abroad and I send it to them. I send it every day. Although NSAID grows wild from Ethiopia down to South Africa, it has only been domesticated in the Ethiopian islands. Scientists, who are now DNA sequencing hundreds of varieties, hope NSAID could boost food security in other countries such as Zambia and Malawi. Daniel Arab Moy, CGTN.